One of the uh, real strengths of this open mic is that we have a considerable amount of very, very talented spoken word artists and poets. I'd like to present one of our favorite, um, Patricia Goodman. <laughs> Um, this, my book is Atlantis, and it's about the United States possibly being another Atlantis, another noble civilization that uh, grew corrupt on its own wealth and power. Um, this one that I'm going to read tonight is about games, video games, computer games. Uh, it turns out that um, there's a clinic in Amsterdam now that actually is taking people for addiction to video games and computer games. They were finding that other addictions, like cocaine addiction, were because people were trying to stay awake 24 hours a day to play the games. And um, they have devised ways so they don't have to leave the computer in order to go to the bathroom. So it's really <laughs> serious. I also had a story told to me this week, um, secondhand. It was told to this person, by uh, the person who was experiencing it. His, um, he's been playing video games, he's 34 years old, He's been playing video games as much as he possibly can, even though he has a full-time job. He's been lying to his dad and thinks he's gay because he's never taken on a girl. And he makes up all these girlfriends, and he's been caught in lies, and he even faked his prom picture. He had a friend come over, a girl in a gown. They took the picture, they never went to the prom, they just drove around. So, I mean, it's getting a little weird when people can't even have a life. They prefer the game, the yeah, simulated life. Let the games begin. Tomb Raider, Mortal Kombat, Grand Theft Auto, Doom. The male penis, when erect, grows to an average of five and a half inches, measured from the front. Alone in the dark, in the flickering blue light, with the joystick, or the up, down, top, bottom, four-way buttons of the clitoris control console. Hit the right button, the right way, and voila, is yours. You can send her flying, hang her by her fingernails, you can make her crawl or moan for you. Why would you need a real girl? Skin is such a challenge. The smells might frighten you. Down there where the caverns run deep and dark. You can't make a real girl jump. You might have to talk to her. The prophet once said, each sex will become the other. Girls are changing into boys. Boys morph into something softer than they were, some limp shape fit only for video games. We laughed. We thought it was a prophetic joke. What will cause that, we asked. Microwave, he said. He knew what he meant, not just microwave, but everything that went into it. Chemical, he chanted, land salt, artificial dye. I could still hear his voice. Sugar, milkshake, ruin appetite for food. Men will become women. Women become men. First, there will be more gay, he laughed. In my mouth as he speaks, I taste bland salt, like the metallic screech of police cars. I feel my body tighten. I gasp for air, breathing inside a rock. I want to scream, and I hope I'm wrong. This is why we have war. In World War II, the army of Atlantis could get only two out of ten men to wing a gun at a human being and shoot. So the army invented video games. And the news cooperated, gleaning horror after horror from other news channels when their own was not horrific enough. And the movies did their part, making heroes of public enemies, so that by Vietnam, eight out of ten men could point and shoot. The games went on for 500 years. The blood feast in hot sun. Philosophers complained Humanity was inhumane. Man was being torn apart, not elevated. Less than men, slaves, Christians, captives. Less than animals, 500 elephants, 200 lions, 100 horses. Not real, just spectacle. 
To die is not enough, said authorities. They must be crushed by animals of monstrous bulk, torn apart, decapitated, fill the stadium with blood. They watched as we watch war on television, movies, or play games. Imagine if they had the technology to blow things up. Somehow in Atlantis, people still meet, fall in love, go on dates, get married, have children, and some of these children will not play video games. In Rome, you cannot find the Circus Maximus now. It is so quiet, grass grows. Thank you. <laughs> is called sim life it actually also comes from real experiences told to me sim life i wonder what my family is doing sorry i can't talk to you i only speak sim i gotta get back to the people i really care about it changes if i leave in sim without me there's anarchy i know it's all about getting me to play more but i don't care i can be important there i can play god I can watch them have sex. It's like a cult without the Kool-Aid, without Janet Reno. It's all mothership, all day, all night, all the time. I wish I didn't have to eat or sleep or go to school or even the bathroom. Something could change and then it's up to me to fix it. You know, when I close my eyes to sleep, don't tell anybody. When I open them, and drive the car, all I see is sin. Thanks. Um, a book that was just published, um, that Patricia has, poetry, it's a wonderful book. Um, she uses the analogy of Atlantis in America, um, but it's, it's a great book, and we've been reading it. I think she has some copies that are interested. Thank you. Thank you.